Yes. Well, you see, in any uh, expedition, uh, uh, there are a lot of concerns uh, on uh, the capability of the vehicle, uh, the range the vehicle can uh, uh, do without refilling, and then uh, the load bearing capability, and also is uh, off road uh, proudness of the vehicle. Proudness means the capability to handle off road. Uh. So, uh, to make sure that the vehicle uh, conforms uh, or is uh, ready and can handle the terrain, can do the long distance required between, in between fuel stops and can carry the load, can also uh, handle uh, the multiple hot terrain, desert terrain, sand, river crossing, uh, mud and uh, climb up hills on a 3 ton payload. Uh, we have to check the vehicles uh, uh, for its uh, chassis suspension, engine power, uh, its uh, reliability, uh, its fuel tank capacity and then also uh, its uh, uh, roof rack capability, its lighting systems. Uh, so that's what we call a scooting ring. Uh, or you can call it a technical inspection of the vehicle. That's what a scooting ring is all about. This, uh, the 16 cars are in the convoy. Uh, if uh, one vehicle uh, malfunction or breaks down, uh, then it will drag down the entire expedition. That's the reason why you need to make sure that all the capability uh, features of the vehicle uh, are conformed to uh, the requirement for this uh, expedition. Okay, uh, in any expedition, uh, uh, the recce is also the, one of the most important aspects uh, the things we need to do because uh, you have to understand uh, the ground conditions, uh, how much off-road you are doing, how many river crossings you are doing, uh, where are your campsites, uh, what kind of uh, border crossing uh, formalities is required between uh, China and Mongolia and Mongolia and Russia. Uh, so a recce is to sort out uh, what are the customs and uh, immigration requirements and what are people. We have to sort out the customs and requirements for the vehicles. We have to check the uh, ground conditions. We have to check the uh, campsites. We have to check depth on the rivers. The river, you look at it, well, it's fast flowing, so, but you never know how, how fast uh, is the river uh, until you check it. And uh, basically, it is to understand a little bit of the places we are going. But Araki, it's not possible to do the entire uh, 6,000 km trans siberian route. Really. So we only do uh, selected parts, uh, and then the rest uh, we leave it to uh, the event. Uh, uh, that's what Araki is important. Local conditions, customs requirements, uh, track conditions, uh, weather conditions. Uh, that's why you need a oh.